Hi everyone, um, this is a little video on the book that's just arrived. It's the latest from AK and uh, as you can see it's entitled British at War. Uh, nice picture on the front of a, I believe this is a Challenger. There's a little German up there and the crew here. So without further ado let's go through it. Uh, oh it's volume one by the way and there's 167 pages in it I counted and I had a quick look earlier. So inside you've got a sleeve. Um, picture of a diorama and some colours picked out what can you can use for the new uh, uniform colours from AK which I'm, I might buy a couple of them now on the inside you've got a picture of a, a valentine and I believe that's the old mortar camouflage um, an introduction there all the different vehicles um, so let's have a quick look through it uh, another introduction uh, it's written in English and uh, Spanish I believe and a couple of pictures of wartime Churchill Crusader the old um, there's an Austin ambulance there uh, and I think that's a Rolls Royce armoured car going through then we go on to a diorama of a horse or glider with some uh, airborne troops you never know they might be oxen bucks the build of it I think this is the Bronco kit could be wrong but I haven't really read it yet I just thought I'd flick through it for you um, nicely done in stages again using the colours telling you how to mask off the uh, the perspex on the windscreen if that's what they call it on an aircraft more on the diorama even more nicely done and then I think this is the, uh, oh no there's still some more pages on it so there's plenty to read if that takes your fancy this is just a bit of a uh, an example these aren't in the in the book so you've got a Firefly uh, Humber Scout car and some detail there if you want to get effects on that like the grubbiness around hatches then we go on to a, a centaur from the old Royal Marines on D-Day it's quite a light brown this one, I don't know if uh, that was actual the colour, actually actually the colour I should say. Um, it's still a nice model, and a lot of lovely weather in here. And there is the basic kit, Tamiya with some uh, metal tracks and a building. Uh, there might be a mini art building there, but as I said I haven't really read it front to back yet. Once again how to paint everything which is very good. Some furniture glass on the windows which I use packaging when I'm doing the dioramas um, chains on the front of the vehicle and that and the little flag the crew more on the pre-shading uh, two tones or three tones there or colour modulation whatever you want to call it filters with some oils it looks like going on using all sorts of products uh, AK there, Wilder, uh, some MIG stuff down there, the close up there. The figures here is a bit blurry here, so that might be the photographer or the printing process, but it's all very nice. You can see the finished diorama. More uh, little gallery photos, Matilda, I think that's a Valentine with a Sten gun on the top so probably used in Europe on the fall, or back home training here's the the Malta camouflaged Valentine um, these are mini art figures I believe and there you go, oh yeah they are more of the setup uh, using the foam for the wall and the diorama and how they, the, uh, the, this chap's painted it looks like he's marked it on then gone over it more close-ups there we go again with the crew sitting on it they're a nice crew I've used them on a, a diorama uh, mounted on corks as I do mine now I put a pin in there and then drill a little hole in the foot and up it goes some nice photo there a nice photo I should say of the weathering process and the, uh, the bucket not that we ever carried one on my vehicle how they made the diorama the person's made the diorama I think that's a little weld bike, well bike there. I think it's called the old airborne bike, and there's a dispatch rider. 
the quad gun tractor I believe that is uh, this is just another gallery uh, motorbike on the back there maybe a BSA someone will know now we go on to a Churchill with a heavy gun is that a 95mm? I think it might be and this chap's done it quite well I like the shine on the on the tracks there um, what he's built it up from the brass that he's added and then just goes on I'll just turn the pages for this one let you see it without me waffling on now I'm going to do some waffling it's a nice way of doing the mud here and then going over it once you've layered it in with all the, uh, the different washes just to darken it that's nice if any of you have seen my video um, when I've done my Churchill uh, Avery Armoured Vehicle Royal Engineers I put a lot of dirt around the turret race um, have a look it's on YouTube I might give you an idea how to do it and that's the end of that one uh, another gallery uh, Matilda being recovered um, I think these are master box figures I may be wrong and you got Monty there that's a nice diorama this uh, one's entitled Field Mouse uh, the Lloyd Carrier I think by Bronco this is nicely done again they're all, all nice models in here and the basic build up shading of the canvas cover that's nice all the separate parts there painted it's not very long that article on that one it is nice though uh, more gallery pictures and there we go the truck the Bedford QL there it is basically and then the weathering process underneath wooden boxes etc stowage ammo and now the chaps made the diorama and the dispatch driver dispatch driver dispatch rider I should say more of a gallery a lad with a, a Bren gun and now we go on to the firefly with all the up armour in I think they're panther tracks those that's nice I like the blankets as well they've obviously liberated talks you through it again all nicely done how they've painted the spare tracks of the crew I think the cat badge represents that from the Royal Tank Regiment RTR the stowage the, fishing, the finishing off I, um, I don't tend to paint my eyes looking straight ahead I always have them going to the side I think they look a little bit more realistic but that's just me couple of finished pictures there more galleries um, the old flail is it a 105 I think we use those in um, Italy and the armoured car there is that a stag hound? yeah it is now we go on to the uh, desert armoured car I believe it's a Rolls Royce yeah nicely done again I'll just flick through it without talking more galleries here Cromwell is that a Scammel I believe and you've got the driver hiding down there and the old uh, SS coming past then we go on to a last the last crusader um, again mini art figures uh, this is the border model crusader nicely done that's how you all are and the diorama at the end a little bit of how they've added some water around the oasis another gallery a 
and then we go on to the picture that was on the front double hunt here so I guess they're hunting and he's hunting as well um, as far as I know it was only was it Skip that made one of these I'm not sure if anyone else does maybe Acura Armour do uh, or SKP I would always pronounce it as Skip um, I know it took a lot of work uh, to get it up to standard well, I, haven't, I haven't built one myself and there's the basic build and the paint the filters again with the oils underneath all the weathering a lot of ways used a barrel there and he's added the crew the dire armour coming out from under the railway arch more close ups nice weathering splatter in there and pictures that finish it off and that's it and it says uh, coming soon volume 2 so as I said 167 pages um, as you can see there 166 167 um, it cost me uh, with postage about 25 pounds so uh, if British armor is your thing um, I'd certainly recommend it I picked up a few little tips flicking through it I'll have a better read later okay catch you later bye